subject alternative name extensions in CSR. Support for subject alternative name extensions during the CSR that is certificate signing request creation. As everyone aware, subject alternative name or SANFIL is a systematic approach to specific all the domain names and then the IP addresses that are protected by the certificate. From 1015 release, administrators can configure the subject alternate name extensions that is DNS as well as the IP address as specified in the RFC 52A0 during the certificate enrollment. Maximum two entries of each type are allowed here. As per RFC, the DNS name type SAN entry contains the domain name system label in the preferred name syntax format. The IP address field consists of an IP address either the IPv4 or the IPv6. So when it comes to use cases, it is needed for interoperability with many browsers as SAN field has become increasingly important recently and is needed for federal accounts. As it is a security feature, it provides enhanced security and usability to the customer as well as now the subject alternate name extensions are available in the certificate enrollment context itself. And it is supported across all AOSCX platforms. So let's see the configuration syntax and then the examples. So the configuration is simple. So you can go to the certificate creation context, crypto PKA certificate and then leave certificate name and provide the subject alt name extensions, DNS name and then the IP address. So to view the certificate created, you can use the show crypto PKA certificate and then the leave certificate name along with plain text as the option. So I have provided the sample show command output here. So you can clearly see the subject alternate name extensions created along with the configured DNS name as well as the IP address both v4 and then the v6. So similar to the configuration via CLA, we can perform it using REST API as well. So you can use the REST API post call in the system PKX509 certificate context and provide the SAN extension DNS name and IP address. To view the configuration, you can perform the REST gate for system PKX509 certificates along with the certificate name and it will clearly display the certificate configurations and here is a snippet with the SAN DNS name and then the IP address. So for more details about this feature you can refer the security guide. Thank you.